The last time LSU was in Lexington to face the Wildcats, head coach Guy Morris was given a Gatorade bath by his Kentucky players just before they lost to the Tigers. Now, the Blue Bluegrass Miracle is one of the greatest games ever in SEC, and it featured Morris versus Saban. This weekend's matchup features Brooks versus Miles. The Kentucky team, uh, very talented team. Um, they're... Uh, Andre Woodson, their quarterback, is uh, a big-time player, you know, SEC leader in total yardage, a, a young man that will play for years in the NFL. And I said last year at Media Day that we had a good enough team to go to postseason play, and, uh, but we had to go out on the field and prove it. And I think our players responded in a, in a very positive manner. Uh, we had some success early and some failures early. Uh, but after the LSU uh, thumping that we got down in uh, Baton Rouge, uh, this team responded in a very positive manner. Kentucky has a great offense. We know that averaging over 42 points per game. They had issues last week with South Carolina. But again, it, it was muddy. They were on the road. It was a Thursday night game. All eyes were on them. LSU's defense, it's the best. We know that, and it's going to be a great offense against a great defense. But maybe Kentucky is right where they want to be, Trev. That is playing the role of the underdog. Seemed like against Louisville, they were the underdog and won. Arkansas, they were the underdog and won. Yep. South Carolina favored, they lose. Is this where they want to be? I think it is. I think they're more comfortable. This team is more comfortable with that role of the underdog. You mentioned it. I mean, there's such a fine line between being a really good team and an elite team like LSU, and they've earned that. Kentucky had four turnovers. You're not going to win big games in the SEC turning the ball over. You look at LSU. You can talk about the quarterback situation. They haven't been great. Worry about the passing attack. I think that this LSU team has taken on the personality of Jacob Hester. And this whole team, you talk about their defense. This young man, I can't tell you how much I respect the way this kid has taken the toughness of this team. He had eight carries for 39 yards on that decisive drive. Two of those fourth quarter, fourth down runs that you talked about, BJ, mm -hmm. were to Jacob Hester. Yeah. He got it done. LSU is going to win this game because of Jacob Hester. If they win the national championship, he's the MVP of that team. I don't care about all your defensive guys. When somebody has to step up offensively, it's Jacob Hester. A lot of respect and love for that. The great ghost. Everybody's all American. We revisited once again. But the reason they, they won that ball game, you're right, is because of Hester and the play call and the decision making. And the reason they're going to win this ball game is because. Kentucky has no defense, especially rush defense. They can score all the points in the world. They want to. They do that. They do that with the running game with Little and Dixon. They do that with Woodson. But their rush game, over 100 yards per game, they're giving up on the ground. Yes, they have some good players. Woodyard at linebackers leading the South SEC uh, in tackles per game, 10.8. You got Jeremy Jarman, a defensive end, who's leading the conference in sacks, 6.5 right now. But they cannot stop anyone. And LSU is going to run downhill, downhill at them all afternoon long.